Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Drea from Lake Crochet. If you like what you see, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All right, let's get right into it. So if you guys watched the video previous to this one, it was me doing a tutorial on Pentagon Granny Squares, okay? So um, while I was making it, it came to my idea that I should just do another tutorial while I have the time and while I have the materials already made um, to show you guys how to make a bucket head out of using um, a Pentagon Granny and five regular Granny Square patches, okay? So... If you do not know how to do a basic granny square, I have a tutorial on how to do that. Your four corner granny square, I got you. If you don't know how to do a pentagon granny square, I now have a tutorial on how to do that. Just go back and watch them. I'm not gonna be doing them on camera. This is like a quick, let me show y'all something with what I just taught y'all type of deal, all right? So we're starting with one um, pentagon granny square <laughs> and five regular square granny squares, okay? Okay, guys, so this is your basic setup to the head. Okay, um, I feel like it makes it so much easier when you start your um, top of the head, your dome of the head with a pentagon. So pretty much you're using your five squares to outline the pentagon. And when we are building the head, we are simply going to be stitching this, stitching this, Stitching this, stitching this, and stitching this. Stitching all of the corners so it so that it connects. So not only the top, but once we're done connecting these five corners, we're going to be doing down the center of these the same exact way to build our head. Okay, so y'all know how I like to give y'all a little something in case y'all know what y'all doing. Okay, guys, so once all of your patches are attached to the side, this is what you should be looking like this little star shape right here okay and and from here actually like i said we are going to be doing the same way we stitch these together we're going to be stitching down these sides okay to create the actual head so we're going to be attaching here 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 and here with a single crochet just as like we did this and we'll be right back all right, so also, let's not forget the egg. You know, when you are sewing these together, you make sure that your granny squares are a good side in. So like how I showed it to y'all, I want to put these, four, I want to have these face each other when I'm doing a corner. Okay, so when I'm sewing here, I want these ends to be facing me so that when I open it or when I flatten it, this is the good side. Okay, so we're doing good sides in, and I'm just going to start with crocheting across my first corner. Okay, so I now stitch my first um granny square to my pentagon on one corner i'm now about to go to this side this side this side this side um i'm actually about to try this little heck um so i have my yarn already connected right let me show y'all the angle so i went down the row all right so being as though i have to connect another um, and this might not be a hack. Y'all might be doing this already. I might just be the dumb one and just snipping and reattaching and snipping and reattaching. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all put me on the sign. But I'm about to just take my granny square, my second granny square, while this yarn is already attached instead of cutting off. And I'm going to kiss them, you know, good size in, bad side out. And I'm just going to keep going. Okay? So, like, I got this yarn here already. I'm just going to keep going around. Normally, I would just cut it and just start with a new square. But I'm like, wait a minute. That's perfect. So... Boom, I just attached that and I'm going down my next corner of my pentagon um, granny square, okay? With a single crochet all the way down the side. All right, I attached my second square. I'm about to do the same and I didn't have to detach y'all. So look, that's really easy. If you were like me who just didn't pay attention to the fact that you could just keep going, <laughs> Instead of cutting off and reattaching your yarn, fine. But I've literally just crocheted all the way around. I'm about to add my new square to this side. And I'm about to just keep that yarn going. So that's going to be my new way to do these hats, y'all. Just keep that yarn attached instead of like cutting and, and tying and reattaching it. So that's a good thing I just learned while doing this. 
Okay, guys, so this is what you should have if you successfully stitched around every side of the pentacon and down the granny squares, okay? This is your dome. This is the base of the cap before we get to the brim. I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of feeling this, feeling this, feeling this the way it is. I'll probably do like a little strip, a single crochet around the bottom if I just wanted to make a little cute winter hat with a scarf, cute little puffer coat. So, damn, so bam, like I just gave y'all two hats. And one, if you wanted to. But it's also giving like a little mojo jojo. I don't know. I don't know about this pattern. <laughs> anyway, on to the brim, child. Okay, guys. So after we got our dome, right, we're going around to start our brim. I'm just going to go around first with a round of single crochet just to close everything in. And then we'll start with our brim. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going around the base of the head, the brim of the head with a round of single crochet before we get into our um brim and our double crochet stitches so single crochet um evenly around and then i will meet y'all back at the end okay guys so i did my single crochet all the way around um the next thing i'm going to do for the next round is um chain up two okay and then we're going to go into the same stitch that we're in with a double crochet Okay, so this is what you should have. I need to cut these in. Double crochet. And then we are going to do the next um, stitch. It's going to be an increase. Okay. Next, we are going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to do an increase. <laughs> so the pattern for this row is double crochet, increase, double crochet, increase, double crochet, increase. All right. And then we will be back. Okay, guys, so we are done our um, increased row of two double crochet, um, one, no, no, I'm sorry, one double crochet, increase, one double crochet, increase. We're done with it. We are just going to do two rows of double crochet around twice. So double crochet the next round and double crochet the next round. So it should be two rows of two rounds. I keep trying to like fix myself when I call a round a row and a row around. This is a round. When we're done the increased round, we're gonna be doing two rounds of double crochet and then that's gonna complete our brim. Okay, so I'm gonna complete my two rounds of double crochet and I'll be back to show you guys what I have. <laughs> All right guys, so this is what we have. This is our cute little bucket head. I love the brim, I love how flat it is. Um, I normally do like a ruffle look, like a heavy ruffle look all the time when I make my hats, but I'm loving this very, very simple bucket head brim. Um, one thing I will say, like my head is a little, well, I think I have like an average size head, but like with these um, four rounds, four rounds on the uh, granny squares, I feel like the head is just a little bit big for my head and I got a wig on. But um, one thing I can suggest is, you know, when you play with stuff, Take it down the road. Like maybe you don't, maybe you can't use um, four rounds, maybe just three rounds for this yarn. Like I said, I used the Crave Smart yarn and I feel like that is like a little plush and like a little thicker. So maybe if you had a thinner yarn, then the, the, the four rounds won't bother you. But you know, play around with it. It's all fun and love and crochet, but this is the outcome. Check me out. I love it, y'all. So thanks again for watching and let me know how your head turns out. So over now until next vlog or tutorial, whichever one I come back with. <laughs>